One, two, 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 check one, two, check one, two, one, two, microphone checking, check one, two, check one, two, check, 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 one, two, sing it for house, please, so. This is the moment Kenya has been waiting for. The nation has been anxious, but we want to urge all Kenyans, let us now put our anxiety aside. The Bible says the end of a matter is better than the beginning. We want to urge the country to remain united we have families to look after, an economy to grow, children who will go back to school. We want our nation back. <clears throat> Let us all pray together. Heavenly Father, here we stand before you as a nation of Kenya. We have always seen your hand of mercy looking after us, watching after us. Even when we push ourselves to the brink, 
you always know how to lift us up. Lord, we want to ask you that you'll guide the nation of Kenya today as we are going to hear the announcement of the process that has always been on. And Lord, when we hear the outcome, our prayer is that you'll keep this nation united. You'll make us find our being and love one another and care for each other. For we all belong together. None of us is going to go anywhere. We will remain to support each other and grow this country. We commit, O oh God, all those who have been leading us to you in their various formation that you will bless them. And as the election has come to a conclusion, we know there are those who have lost. Lord, we ask that you will help them as they come to terms. And even those who have won, Lord, help them to be magnanimous in their winning and embrace everybody. For they have been given an opportunity to lead those who voted for them and those who did not vote for them. So, Lord, bind us together with cords of love that cannot be broken. Enable us, O oh God, to emerge out of this, shake off our dust, and march on and build this great nation. Lord, for the exercise ahead of us, we commit the chair and the commissioners before you and all of us gathered in this room that your will prevails, your presence overwhelms us, and this nation, O oh God, will not go to the drain because you reign. This is our prayer in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> ensuring that Kenyans get a free, fair, and credible election. It's not been an easy journey. Right now, two of my commissioners and the CEO are injured. And they, they, of course, they are being treated. We have staff who have been profiled. There's a staff, a returning officer in Bakasi, West, who disappeared while on duty. We have staff who have been arbitrarily arrested for no reasons. We don't know where they are. From Some from this National Telling Center. But we have a constitutional duty to perform. And that's why I stand before you today despite intimidation, harassment, I took an oath of office to serve this country. And I've done my duty in accordance with the Constitution and the laws of the land. And I'm, I, I'm, I feel proud that um, I've been given this opportunity to serve Kenyans. This, of course, will be my last election to preside over. And for those who will come, we have prepared for you what the Constitution envisaged from us, an independent electoral commission. So I just want to thank the staff of IBC, the soldiers who braved insults, harassment, and delivered right from the constituencies to the counties and up to the National Telling Center. I want to thank stakeholders, state and non-state stakeholders who have worked with us on this journey. 
and more particularly the members of the diplomatic community and the religious leaders who have been keeping vigil at this center for the last three days. They have been here throughout 24 hours a day. So Kenyans came out and voted on the 9th of August. And these are the results of what the, the will of the Kenyan people reflects. These results are in the public portal. The same results which I'm reading here are the ones in the public portal. So there were four presidential candidates. These are the aggregated results. Odinga Raila, total valid votes, 6,942,930. And this represents 48.85%. of the votes garnered and he achieved a number of counties the candidate attained with at least 25% of the total valid votes cast is 34 counties. <clears throat> Ruto William Samoy, number of valid votes, 7 million. Thank you, 7,176,141. This represents 50.49%. And he achieved the minimum number of 39 counties at 25%. Waihika David Maure, number of valid votes in figures 31,987. That represents 0.23%. Number of counties with a minimum of 25%, zero. Washakoya George Luchiri, 61,969. Those are valid votes. Percentage of votes cast 0.44%. And the uh, uh, number of counties with a minimum of 25% attained zero. So, in accordance with the law, the constitution and the law, I, Wafula Chebukati, chairperson of the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, hereby declares that Ruto William Samoe of ID number 6847208 has been duly elected as the president of the Republic of Kenya under the provisions of Article 138 of the Constitution in the presidential election held on 9th of day of August 2022, and I'll proceed to sign the certificate.
I invite the president-elect to come forward and receive his certificate. Kathy Kashakwa is the deputy president elect. Thank you. I invite uh, I invite uh, the president elect to make his remarks and thank you Kenyans for having a peaceful election. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. Um, your Excellencies, Ambassadors, and High Commissioners present, your Lordships, the Bishops, and members of the clergy in the Republic of Kenya, my good deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa, distinguished members of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, led by Chairman Wafula Chebukati, Uh, fellow countrymen and women, good evening. It is a wonderful evening, and I want to thank God that we are here this evening to witness this momentous occasion as the people of Kenya restate what is in Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya, that all sovereign power belong to the people of Kenya. I want to thank God for getting us to this point. I want to thank God that today we have concluded this election. I know that there were predictions that I won't get to the ballot. There were predictions that we won't get here. But because there is a God in heaven, we are here. And I want to, in a very special way, say and confess that without God, we wouldn't have been here. My gratitude also goes to the people of Kenya. The millions who listen to us. The millions who participated in our campaigns peacefully. The millions who turned up to vote for us on 9th of August. 
and the millions who have waited patiently until this announcement has been made. Specifically, I want to thank my fellow countrymen and women because we have raised the bar in this election. Jointly, we have raised the bar. This election was much about the issues than the ethnic configurations that have always informed our elections. Gratitude goes to the millions of Kenyans who refused to be boxed into tribal cocoons. I am a very proud Kenyan this evening that the people of Kenya have raised the bar on us who are seeking leadership in our country. Not to sell our ethnicities, but to sell our programs, our manifestos, our agenda, and our plan. Let me also say right at the start that in here and in this election, there are no losers. The people of Kenya have won because we have raised the political bar. I want to say that the people of Kenya, led by the 14 million who turned up to vote, are the biggest winners. The hero of this election is the IEBC. led by Wafula Chebukati. I say this with conviction that the IEBC amazed all of us. With the results in the public portal, the, all the servers were open. And everybody, all you needed is a simple calculator and you would have the results. I want to congratulate the IEBC for raising the bar. And I want to say without fear of any contradiction that one Wafula Chebukati is our hero. Soft spoken but firm. And I want to tell you, Mr. Chairman, we are very proud that without informing any one of us, you put all the results from all the polling stations on a public portal where any Kenyan could access. That became the game changer in this election. Let me also, at this point in time, thank our partners, the religious leaders, who were part of this process right from the beginning. For the first time, we saw religious leaders spend time at this Starling Center and prayed for this process. I am sure their prayers will not be in vain. I also want to thank our development partners, our diplomatic community, and all the observers who came in their thousands to be part and parcel of the process right from almost two weeks ago to its conclusion in this auditorium. To all of them, 
I tell them the people of Kenya are eternally grateful that you took your time, valuable time, to watch over this process so that the right thing can happen. I want to thank my worthy competitor, the Honorable Rai Laudinga, for a campaign that we all dwelt on issues and we tried to sell an agenda to the people of Kenya. I want to promise that I will work with all elected leaders and all leaders in Kenya so that we can fashion a country that leaves nobody behind. <clears throat> what the people of Kenya have done, they have assigned us responsibilities. There will be those of us who will be in the executive, but there will be those of us who will oversee what we do in the executive. Both responsibilities in government and in the opposition are important for the people of Kenya. I want to promise the people of Kenya that I will run a transparent, open, democratic government. And I will work with the opposition to the extent that they provide oversight over my administration. Let me also, at this point in time, acknowledge my boss, the President of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, who has worked with me over the last 10 years in various forms. And I want to commit to the people of Kenya that I will build on the foundation that President Kenyatta and I put together and take this country to the next level. I want to promise all the people of Kenya, whichever way they voted, that this will be their government. I know many are wondering especially those who have done many things against us. I want to tell them that they have nothing to fear. There is no room. There is nothing. There is no room for vengeance. There is no room for looking back. We are looking into the future. I am acutely aware that our country is at a stage where we need all hands on deck to move it forward. We do not have the luxury to look back. We do not have the luxury to point fingers. We do not have the luxury to apportion blame. We must close ranks and work together for a functioning, democratic, prosperous Kenya. I want to thank the members of my team, starting with my wife and family. and many other prayer warriors in Kenya. And I want to confess 
that I have been prayed into victory. It is not our effort. And my team knows. We were working against the odds, many odds at that. But I must confess that it is God who brought us this victory. I do not want to mention the many people, many friends who have been part and parcel of this journey. Many people have paid huge sacrifices for us to get here. I want to promise them that their sacrifice will not be in vain. I will, I and my team, my team and I will work very hard to make sure that we don't let the sacrifices made by many Kenyans, we don't let them down. I am very confident that this country will come together and we can move forward as one united, democratic, and prosperous country. I want to ask our religious leaders from across Kenya to pray for us and to pray say more than that because I will be making other statements in the course of time. But let me say to all of you, thank you very much for being here this evening to witness this very historic, democratic occasion that moves our country to the next level. And let me thank my very able deputy, for the sacrifice and the commitment he has demonstrated and the hard work he has put in together with all our teams Musalia Mudabadi um, Moses Otangula JB Muturi uh, Mr. Mutua uh, Amazon Tingi and all let me not go down that route because I, I will disappoint some people because that list is very long. Especially the men and women, members of parliament who were elected with us in Jubilee. And, and they have paid a heavy price for us to get here. Ladies and gentlemen, Waishimiwa, let me say I owe you. You are great people. The sacrifices you made, withstanding the many incidences of blackmail and threats, I want to tell you, you have earned your place in the history of Kenya. Because today, we're going to form a government together to serve the people of Kenya. So, with those many remarks, let me say to all the people of Kenya, I give you my word that I will work hard to make sure that this nation moves to the next level is united and is prosperous. Asante Nisana.